TikTok has more than 750 million users. It has been downloaded 2 billion times in the Play and App Store. Probably you are already one of those 750 million users. Anyway, if you are looking for a working guide on how to hack a TikTok account, then you are on the right video. There are many fake sites to hack TikTok that will send you for a survey where you can get nothing, just a waste of time. TikTok is a multi-billion dollar company. There is no automatic way to hack a TikTok account, but if you use technical skills to make the victim fool, then you can hack the TikTok account easily. Today in this video, we are going to show you five ways to hack a TikTok account. Hey guys, it's John here from Sal's channel. Welcome to Sal's channel. We show you technology like hacking skills, how to hack, how to be a hacker, programming languages, best websites, best things, and amazing things. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the notification bell. And if you have any concerns, questions, or opinions about this video, just leave them in the comments down below. So let's get started. The first way to hack a TikTok account is using the phishing method. Phishing is an easy way for hackers to hack TikTok accounts. The hacker can send fake emails to users, making it seem like it is from TikTok. The content of the emails could state, for example, that your account has been compromised and requires your credentials to help get your account back. This is just one example of how a cyber criminal can manipulate you into entering your personal information. Back in 2019, there was a vulnerability that allowed hackers to use a link in TikTok's messaging system to send users messages that appeared to come from TikTok. If users clicked on the link, then hackers were able to access and gain control of all accounts. They were able to do whatever they wanted with the account. If you ask how to protect against phishing attacks, users should be educated and informed on the characteristics of phishing emails in order to be able to spot them. This is what you can do. Always check the URL before logging in. Enable two-factor authentication. Do not click on any links or open any attachments from suspicious emails. Do not enter any personal information from a pop-up screen and pay close attention to misspellings in the email contents. The second way to hack TikTok is by Keylogger software or Remote Keylogger. Remote keyloggers mostly affect our mobile devices or laptops because cyber criminals need to first access your device and then install software to record everything you type on the keyboard. This means that every key is recorded when you log into your personal accounts. For example, email, bank, TikTok, etc. Hackers will have this information and can hack your account. Now let's look at how to protect against remote keyloggers. Do not use third-party keyboard applications. Do not open any attachments or click on links and email messages as the keylogger could be embedded in the attachment. Install anti-spyware applications to help detect, disable and quarantine software-based keyboard loggers. The third way to hack TikTok account is with brute force attack. If a password is equivalent to using a key to open a door, a brute force attack is using a battering ram. A hacker can try 2.18 trillion password username combinations in few minutes. And especially if the password is easy and commonly used, such as a nickname, phone number, partner's name, pet name, just to name a few. Of course, the hacker could also perform a brute force attack for the user's password, if the password is a bit more difficult to guess. Brute force attack is very good way to hack TikTok. To help prevent brute force attacks, use a complex password. The difference between an all lowercase, all alphabetic six digit password and a mixed case. Next character, 10-digit password is enormous, as your password's complexity increases. The chance of a successful brute force attack decreases require multi-factor authentication. If multi-factor authentication is enabled on your account, a potential hacker can only send a request to your second factor for access to your account. The next way to hack TikTok account is using zero-day vulnerability. A zero-day vulnerability is a new security vulnerability that software vendors may be aware of but there is currently no patch to fix it. This would allow hackers to exploit the vulnerability if a hacker finds a vulnerability in TikTok, for example, in the source code or database. The hacker could potentially leak all user data. How to protect against zero-day vulnerabilities? There is no way to completely avoid zero-day vulnerabilities, but you can do the following as extra security precautions to prevent hackers from getting into your TikTok account. Make sure you are using the latest version of TikTok, Enable two-factor authentication. The last way to hack TikTok account is social engineering. Social engineering nothing just guessed the password, but with the above methods you can also social engineering to convince the victim to log in into the fake page, installing a keylogger, etc. 
A lot of people set a password use the name of dad or mum with a mixture of some other characters. The last way to hack TikTok account is social engineering. Social engineering nothing just guess the password, but with the above methods, you can also social engineering to convince the victim to log in into the fake page, installing a keylogger, etc. A lot of people set a password use the name of dad or mom with a mixture of some other characters. Remember, this video is for learning. The information shared here is meant to educate and inform not to encourage any illegal activities. Only use these techniques responsibly and legally. Ethical hacking is about protecting, not exploiting. Ethical hacking, also called penetration testing, is like a practice run for real attacks. It involves simulating cyber attacks to identify and fix security weaknesses. The goal is to find and fix security holes before the bad guys do. By doing so, ethical hackers help prevent data breaches and protect user privacy. It's being proactive about cybersecurity. Instead of waiting for an attack to happen, ethical hackers work to prevent them. This video will show you the tricks used by both ethical hackers and the bad guys. Understanding these techniques can help you better protect yourself online. We'll cover important safety tips, look at real-life weak spots and show you how to protect your TikTok account. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you know, the safer you can be. By understanding ethical hacking on TikTok, you can help make the internet safer for everyone. Together, we can create a more secure online environment. Ethical hacking isn't about taking advantage of weaknesses, it's about finding problems and fixing them responsibly. There are five main rules for ethical hackers. 1. Get permission. Always ask the owner before testing their system. 2. Set boundaries. Agree on what you'll test and stick to it. 3. Don't change anything. Don't mess with the data unless it's absolutely necessary for the test. Even then, make sure you have backups and permission. 4. Share what you find. If you find a problem, tell the owner. Give them all the details and tell them how to fix it. 5. Keep secrets. Don't tell anyone else about the information you find during the test. Protecting your TikTok starts with simple safety steps. Here are some essentials. 1. Strong passwords. Use a different complicated password for TikTok. A good password is at least 12 letters, numbers and symbols long, with both upper and lowercase letters. 2. Two-factor authentication. 2FA. Turn on 2FA for extra safety. It makes you enter a code from your phone along with your password. 3. Privacy settings. Check and change your privacy settings to control who sees your videos, sends you messages, and interacts with your account. 4. Software updates. Keep your TikTok app updated. Updates often have fixes for security problems. Deep links are handy, but bad guys can use them to get into TikTok accounts. These special links are designed to take users directly to specific content within an app, making navigation seamless and efficient. However, this convenience can be exploited by cybercriminals. Here's how. Deep links are special website addresses that take you to a specific part of an app. They bypass the usual entry points and can lead directly to a specific page or feature within the app. This is great for user experience but can be a security risk if not handled properly. In the wrong hands, they can skip security checks and take over your account. Cyber criminals can craft malicious deep links that exploit vulnerabilities in the app's security, allowing them to gain unauthorized access to user accounts and sensitive information. Attackers might use tricks like phishing, where they disguise these harmful links as legitimate ones. They often send these links through emails, texts or social media messages, making them look like they come from trusted sources. Hiding bad deep links in emails, texts, or social media posts is a common tactic. These messages might urge you to click on a link to claim a prize, check a message, or verify your account, all of which are ploys to get you to click on the malicious link. Clicking a bad deep link might take you to a fake login page to steal your info. These pages are designed to look exactly like the real ones, tricking you into entering your username and password, which the attackers then capture or the deep link itself could have hidden code that does bad things when you click it. This code can execute commands on your device, install malware or redirect you to other malicious sites without your knowledge. To stay safe, be careful with strange links. Always be cautious when you receive unsolicited messages with links, even if they appear to come from people you know. Check where links come from before clicking by hovering over the link to see the actual URL. If it looks suspicious or unfamiliar, it's best not to click on it. And keep your TikTok app updated for the latest security fixes.
Regular updates often include patches for security vulnerabilities, making it harder for attackers to exploit deep links and other weaknesses. SMS spoofing is when bad guys send texts that look like they're from TikTok. This tricks people into giving away information or access to their accounts. They can mess with how texts work to make it look like the message came from TikTok's official number. These fake texts often try to make you panic so you'll click bad links or give personal info. For example, a fake text might say there's something wrong with your account and ask you to click a link to fix it. To stay safe, be wary of random texts asking for information or telling you to click links. Double-check requests through official channels and turn on two-factor authentication for added safety. Cross-site scripting, or XSS, lets attackers put bad code into websites. While TikTok itself is pretty safe, other apps that work with it can have XSS problems. Attackers might use problems in these other apps to put bad code into your TikTok session. This code could steal your login info, take over your account, or send you to bad websites. The stolen accounts can then be used to spread fake news or spam. Be careful about giving permissions to other apps and check your authorized apps regularly. Also, keep your web browser updated for the latest security fixes. Message event handlers are bits of code that control how an app reacts to messages or events. Problems in these handlers can let attackers run their own code or get private info within the TikTok app. They could create bad messages to trigger these problems, leading to data leaks or unauthorized actions in the app. TikTok has safety measures to prevent this, but ongoing research is important to find and fix new problems. Stay updated on security news and report anything suspicious to TikTok support. Knowing the signs of a hacked TikTok account is key to fixing it quickly. In today's digital age, our social media accounts are more than just platforms for sharing. They are extensions of our personal lives. When these accounts get compromised, it can feel like a violation of our privacy and security. Watch out for these red flags that might indicate your account has been hacked. Unusual activity. Have you noticed any posts, likes, comments, or messages that you didn't make? This is often the first sign that someone else has gained access to your account. That could mean someone else is in your account. It's crucial to stay vigilant and regularly check your activity log for any anomalies. Unfamiliar devices. Always check your login history for any strange devices or locations. If you see logins from places you've never been or devices you don't recognize, it's a clear sign of unauthorized access. If you see something weird, act fast. Time is of the essence when it comes to securing your account. Password changes. Did your password change without you doing it? This is a major red flag. Hackers often change passwords to lock you out of your own account. That's a big sign your account has been hacked. Don't ignore it. Take immediate action to regain control. If you think your account's been hacked, do these things right away. Change your password. Pick a strong, unique password you don't use anywhere else. Consider using a password manager to keep track of your passwords securely. Enable two-factor authentication. This adds an extra layer of security, making it significantly harder for hackers to get in. Two-factor authentication requires a second form of verification, like a code sent to your phone. Report the issue to TikTok. Tell TikTok, support what happened. They have the tools and resources to help you secure your account and investigate any suspicious activity. They can help you secure your account and look into suspicious activity. Remember, staying proactive and vigilant is the best way to protect your online presence. As the digital world changes, understanding ethical hacking is super important. By learning how cybersecurity experts find problems, we can all protect ourselves. Remember, security is everyone's job. Use strong passwords, turn on two-factor authentication, and stay updated on threats to make the internet safer for everyone. Stay alert, stay informed, and stay safe. Our digital future depends on it.